this is part of my third prototype uh, for this watch project. Uh, this is the third. It's not fully put together, as you can see. Uh, you can see this is the second one, second prototype, and this was the first prototype. Uh, is more fully finished here. Um, these I've ordered uh, some PCB boards to get this uh, working, and this latest one has more features. So uh, the PCB board has a lot more detail to it. Um, as you can see, this one's messed up. I've messed up a few uh, trying to get this to work. Here's a comparison between the old one on the left and the new one on the right. Um, as you can see, the old one is very simple. Not many components. The new one is a bit more complex. We've got the TI-80 uh, T T167 chip here. Resistor array. And um, the RTC module, buttons, and battery charger uh, switch. Um, this is debugging ports and the um, compass module. We'll go right there. So I've got that all put together. I've also got the photoresistor to detect light. Um, it's obviously not, doesn't look the best put together right now. Um, but when I get better at it, it will start looking better. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be able to use the photoresistor after all, since the light interferes um, with the photoresistor, um, especially when you put on the glass, which is going to be on it uh, when the watch is complete. Um, but I've got the switch over here. Turn that on. I've got the buttons over here. Two buttons. Switching modes. The other one is for changing the brightness, which doesn't work right now because the photoresistor is attached and it's using that instead. As you can see, if I cover the photoresistor, it gets more dim. Uncover it, it gets brighter. So in the sun, uh, you'll be able to see it better. I've got the battery on the bottom. Now on this board, I've got the RTC module battery actually coming through the board. Uh, so it doesn't interfere. Um, with the height of the board like it did on this board. And as you can see on this one, the um, charging port's smaller, uh, the buttons are more uniform, and the switches are uni more uniform. And, well, everything's coming along. It was actually pretty frustrating trying to get this together. For one thing, I the, photo the resistor array that I got that goes here um, actually wasn't the schematic I thought it was. I looked at the schematic for the resistor array after I put it together and it wasn't working and so I'm basically using a resistor array with eight with four resistors and then a single resistor on the very edge uh, because my five resistor array just wasn't working. Um, so I'm going to have to fix that. I'm going to have to look into the photoresistor thing or just remove it if I can't get that to work. Um, and the compass module is on here. It, I just don't have a mode uh, that will test it yet. Um, so yeah, this is uh, just an update on this project. Um, I've spent like all day working on this. It's really, really was... Um, frustrating at times but it's uh, put together a little bit right now it doesn't look the best but in the future I'll be able to get this to uh, look pretty good thanks for watching